So a lot of you have asked how Dinah became a cuss word. So, and how I knew. So this is Dinah and this is Dinah. <laughs> So there's a few things that I think might be going on as to why it got used as a cuss word, but first, it's a kitty cat. So that, I don't know if she's just like, kitty cats are something that makes her mad. I'm not sure. The other thing, it makes a sound. This is the sound it makes. So maybe that sounds mad. Or the other thing, is there right here? The other thing that I'm thinking it could be is because this is the one that she actually got for Christmas and it worked and then it stopped working. And so we had to wait like two or three days for another one to be delivered and this is Dyna 2. So I'm not sure if she's using it as a bad word because one is broken and it's like, you know, maybe she knows something's broken with that. I'm not sure. Um, the other thing, like I said, it could be because the cat. My other guess is because it sounds really close to damn it. And that's the closest thing she has to damn it and I cuss. So she would know how to use it correctly, you know? So something else that's important to know, she uses Dinah for the color gray and purple. So that is also sometimes used as a color word. Um, just like she uses Dingbert as blue teal type things and she uses Scooby for brown and red. And she's been doing that for a long time. She's been doing that since way before she started using it as a cuss word. Like I said, she'd been using the word Dinah as a color for a while and of course to talk about her stuffed animal and I don't know how long she had been using it as what we think might be a bad word um, or like to express frustration, but I started noticing it maybe about a I don't know, maybe like six months, honestly, before I confirmed it. And the thing that confirmed it for me is one day we were sitting where we always sit playing puzzles and the remote fell off the back of the couch, just all of a sudden out of nowhere. And it scared her and it scared me both. And she walked over and she said, Dinah, like she was pissed off basically because it scared her. If you have fun today, you call Duck. That was fun. You call That was whenever it like really sealed it for me. And then obviously we've seen her progressively use it more and more and more in like a temper tantrum sort of way. Watch my dog have a temper tantrum. Let's do tricks. Um, I don't think we need to do any more tricks. We had a lot of tricks already. I'm sorry, we don't need to. It would be irresponsible for me to give you more snacks. It's important to know that she uses the word Dinah as a bad word. This is Dinah. Well, I'm sorry. Okay, listen, is, are you, is it that big of a deal? We're gonna cuss it? Maybe we can just do one trick. Looking back, I don't know why I didn't just do tricks with her to begin with. We could have done that for carrots. Where's your foot? Yes. I love you. I love you. I love you too. So I do not plan to give her a bad word button. I just don't really see the need in it. I feel like she can use her Dinah button as that. She also has frustrated and upset, which are, I say frustrated a lot, and I also say upset a lot. So she does have a way to express frustration and you know, upset feelings other than Dinah. She just uses it for that. And like I said, I think it's because she thinks it sounds like a cuss word. I don't mind if she uses it that way. That's totally fine if she does. It's, you know, she can express herself however she wants. 